Hi, my beautiful gems. How are you? It is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This reading is for Gemini Sun, Moon, and Rising, also Venus and Jupiter. So if you have those planets in your uh, natal chart in Gemini, you will want to listen to this reading. Thank you so much for your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I really appreciate it. And for those of you that would like to subscribe to my channel, please make sure you click on the notification button and the little bell. Make sure that little bell is wiggling for all notifications so I will be immediately notified. Um, no, you will be immediately notified when I post my videos. I did that with Pisces. So Geminis, I don't know if you're posting videos or you need to notify somebody or somebody needs to notify you. Um, you know, any, any of those things, possibly Gemini. So uh, Gemini, also, if you want the extended reading for this upcoming month, you can certainly go to the link below. And there, you can get a membership to my website. When you do that, you will get access to all of the extended readings and all of the other services that I have to offer. I have been recording so much, it appears that I need to give my computer, my laptop a break. So I am just going to keep going. And um, I hope you're okay with a little bit of uh, static or the fan noise in the background. Gemini, some of you might need fan noise in the background to go to sleep. That's like a big deal for you. Let's get into the pre-shuffle, Geminis. Hmm. Geminis, I'm hearing where two hearts become one. Some Geminis might be um, going to a wedding or there is, maybe you're getting married or getting engaged, where two hearts become one. Geminis, you're also making sense out of chaos right now and you're doing a very, very good job at it. You're using your creativity, which is just amazing right now. And that's important. And you are gonna be quite successful, Gemini. You're gonna be quite successful in all of your endeavors, you're going to be revealing the truth to a lot of people. And people really appreciate that, Gemini. So good job. Dang, Gemini, you, you are kicking butt and taking names. Now, of course, Gemini, please remember these energies go both ways, but Gemini's, I'm seeing like, I'm seeing like pudding. I'm seeing like this really rich chocolate pudding for some reason. It's like a fondue. And Gemini's, you might be wrapping. I don't know why this is. You could be wrapping a gift, a present for someone, or you could actually be wrapping like, you know, Jay-Z wrapping or something like that. Is Jay-Z a Gemini? I don't even know. But anyway, let's just keep going. But yes, that's coming up here. Also, um, a lot of uh, a lot of travel for Geminis. Geminis, you're talking about cars. Are you going to replace your car? Are you going to pay your car off? What about cars? What about cars? Gemini, if you're a, a mother or a father, you might have a, a child that wants to watch cars. Um, other, others of you, Gemini, something about cars is coming up. What about cars? Um, some serious conversation about something that ha has to do with cars. The automobile industry, maybe? All right, Gems, let's keep going here. Time to start the reading, Gems. Please put your energy in the deck, Gems, and we will start drawing the cards. And ladies and gentlemen, if you like these videos, please make sure you're smashing that like button because that's what gets our videos out there so everybody else who is interested can join our community and our family. We certainly do would do want for it to grow. We would like for it to grow. 
So uh, please, please uh, go ahead and hit that like button. And remember, these readings can go out three months. So you might even want to go back to last month's reading to get confirms for this month. All right, splitting the deck, Gemini. Gemini, your first card for July is the Tower. Whoa, Gemini, this is huge. Something very unexpected is happening in the month of July. This could be a reorganization. This could be throwing people out. This could be people getting in trouble. This could be people who have been on their high horse are going to be thrown off their high horse. If you, Gemini, are a rider, as in uh, horses, you may want to be careful. I don't want anybody getting bucked off, so take extra precautions. Gemini, this can also be... The tower is a phallic symbol, so there might be a lot of uh, bedroom activity going on. Someone might be falling. There might be a fire. There might be an electrical fire. There might be chaos. There might be destruction in July. But I feel more than anything, uh, Gemini, you're throwing people out. Something about video games is coming in here. Something, something's going to be revealed about video games. I, I don't, I don't know where this is coming from. This could also be really bad storms, Gemini. But this is the Uranus energy, Gemini. So Gemini, find out where Taurus is at, um, I believe it's nine degrees in your natal chart and what house that is in, that's your house that's going to be affected in Taurus. This could be home renovations too. Needing to destroy something so it can be rebuilt. All right, what's your second card, Gemini? The Knight of Wands. This is news coming in thick and fast and quick regarding um, a, a passion proposition, a passionate beginning, a new beginning. Um, you know, if we look at this, guys, and this came up in the other readings um, for, I think it was for Taurus, but it was in there extended. To me, that looks like what we're going through right now, destroying statues. Something very significant for Geminis regarding the destruction of statues. You know, Gems, I'm really wondering, oh, now this is entering, the statue is running into the tower. Now that changes things a little bit. Oh, this is going to end. Here come the reinforcements, Gemini. FYI. Reinforcements are on their way. The cavalry is coming. Uh, so just want to make you aware of that. This is really strong energy, Gemini. You're going to be hearing about it for sure. You're going to be hearing about it. You're going to be talking about it. Now, for some Geminis, this is someone who is a player energy that's just trying to get in your pants. So you might be having somebody sweep you off your feet just so they can get into your pants. Let's see what the third energy is. Oh boy, <laughs> the lovers. Here we go. Uh, that is exactly the first, um, one of the first energies I got um, with the tower, that this is actually the phallic symbol. So Gemini's, somebody's getting it on in July. Uh, this could also be fireworks, Gemini, as well. Um, Gemini, you are the one that is here in this reading most prominently. Because this is your card, Gemini. Gemini, I just believe that you are going to be very, very active sexually. Very active sexually. Your libido is going up. Or your partner's libido is going up. Or if you're not with anybody, somebody's coming in. You know, 
you, this might be you calling in your, your soulmate or your twin flame and you're like, whoa, I can't even believe that this was possible. And all of you know, I do not pull out twin flame or soulmates that often. So if, if, if I'm pulling that out now, I'm telling you right now, you've got a soulmate or a twin flame that I believe, because this is the future going this direction. This is the past. So, or the present, the past and the present. These are the activities going on. It's almost as though you're pulling in your soulmate to here, to where you are now. You might have pulled in a lover too early or someone might have pulled a lover in too early. Like you're destined to be together, but you pulled them in too early or they pulled you in too early and it was, the timing was off. But maybe, maybe in July, the timing will re-establish itself. This is also the lovers is the lungs in the tarot card deck. And I really feel that if this is the lungs, we're going to find out more coming up here. But there might be some sort of new development as it relates to the lungs. News is coming in. Uh, new treatments, new, uh, new drugs, new, new ways to approach it, to keep it at bay. All right, let's keep going, Gemini. The Seven of Swords. So as it relates to the Seven of Swords and the Tower, this is somebody is stealing something. Someone is stealing ideas. Someone is stealing somebody's hard work. They may get found out. These people who have been stealing or uh, robbing or um, uh, defacing things, they may get thrown in the slammer. They thought they got away with it, but they didn't. And again, more energy is coming in, so we got to find out what this is all about. But somebody's getting caught. Somebody's getting caught. I'm telling you. The sun, yep, everything is being illuminated. Gemini, for you, this is you illuminating the destruction and providing information that a lot of people didn't have. This is creating energy around you where only the truth can survive. This is love. This is children. This could be Man, somebody got pregnant on a one-night stand. Just saying. This is a child. This is the lovers. This is the player. And this is the boink. And then this is... See ya. Someone is leaving the responsibility of children. Someone's not taking care of the children. Somebody's not taking care of the innocent. And this is what you're illuminating, Gemini. Gemini, you could be traveling to a sunnier location just to get away. Or maybe even a freer location. See, the sun, the sun is all about independence and freedom and liberation. So you might be going from a place of destruction and just nasty behavior, get in your car, get on the plane, whatever, and go someplace that you feel safe and where you feel like you're liberated. I mean, we've got three major arcanas in a trine. Look at this. So the sun, let's think about this. The sun is in Cancer. Venus is retrograde in Gemini. And the tower, Uranus, is in Taurus. These are trining right now.
and Venus rules Taurus, which is where Uranus is at. So there's, I really do feel there's something about some of you Geminis out there. You're redoing your home. You're making it more aesthetically pleasing. You're making it feel more open and more and easier to get around in. You're throwing stuff away. You're getting rid of stuff that no longer serves. And it might be because you need to, you need to um, put in a new room for a child. You need to make room for children in your life right now, Taurus. Maybe because they're not going to school, you need to make sure that they're taken care of at home. You're moving them back home after they left. Very interesting, Taurus. What is your last card? The Fool. Taurus, you have four. I'm sorry. I am talking to Geminis, not Tauruses. Geminis, you have four major arcanas, and the Fool is one of these. Oh, Geminis, this is funny. Geminis, I'm hearing, ha ha, you thought you got away with it and you didn't. Again, Gemini, I mean, I, I think this was um, a while back. I think it was for one of your readings, Gemini, but it could have been for somebody else. But someone is saying, I know what you did last summer. I know what you did last summer. That movie may have something to do with it. I know what you did last summer. But Gemini, this is you feeling free in a relationship. You feel liberated. You may have gotten liberated from a relationship in order to get into another relationship, Gemini. There could be some mischievous and sneaky behavior here, so just be aware of that. And I already called that out. But again, this could be moving uh, possessions from one place to another or ideas from one place to another. You might be calling out a business, a person, a partner, whatever, for... Um, not paying up when they should have paid up. Or they could be saying that to you. Or there could be something here where there has to be an agreement needs to be looked at and revised because someone took advantage of someone else in some way, shape, or form. And it might have something to do with child support or children, even pets for some Geminis. But Geminis, for some reason, you are feeling you are feeling like you are free as a bird. You are no longer chained to a situation. It's like you're being protected, Gemini. You're being protected by the angels so that you can do what you're meant to do. So take that leap of faith and just do it. Because you, you, because this is you, you are the lovers. You. This is the Gemini card. This is the zero card. This is the card of pure potential energy. So this is Gemini at their potential energy. Illuminating a situation regarding sneaky behavior. And it's going to be communicated. The information is coming in this this illumination is coming in, and this is what results. Reinforcements are on their way. That, that's just what I'm hearing. Reinforcements are on the way. And it might be because of a storm or some sort of an emergency that's coming in that there needs to be an emergency um, An emergency needs to be declared because of a storm or because of an untoward um, situation. But man, like you've got a lot of love, 
a lot of activity, a lot of passion, a lot of newness, a lot of feeling like I'm going to do this. I'm going I'm going to go for it. The fool is looking right at the knight of wands. I'm going for it. But it's almost as though Gemini, this had to happen first before you could reach this or this. Because that is also a trine here. The lovers, the fool, and the sun. This is almost as though, Gemini, there is a... Um, I'm almost feeling like Magneto, right? I don't know why it's coming up that way, but I feel like Magneto is coming in here. I almost feel as though, Gemini, you are the savior. Gemini, I feel like you're calling the shots, and that's what I'm going to label this as. You're calling the shots in July. That's just what's going on. I, there's no other way to put this. You're calling the shots in July, Gemini. And again, Gemini, remember, reading goes both ways. So this energy might be coming at you from others, or you might be putting this energy on others um, from you. So... I think I may title, title it, Somebody's Calling the Shots in, in July. Somebody is calling the shots in July. Somebody has a lot of power here. Gemini, I think it's you. All right. Gemini, please consider going to my website, purchasing a membership there. And um, you can get uh, all of the extended readings for all signs. And I'm going to go ahead and clarify this reading. I'm going to clarify the tower. Absolutely. I'm going to clarify the seven of swords. And I really want to clarify the Fool card. I want to know what this is all about. This is pure potential energy. I think your I think your reading Gemini, even your extended, is probably going to be more powerful than this one. That's what I believe. Yep, that's what I got, Gemini. I wish you the best. Much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.